Live in the studio now, a band I'm very excited to have here. Rachel Price on vocals, Mike Olson on trumpet, Bridget Kearney on bass, Mike Calabrese on percussion. This is Lake Street Dive and this is Bad Seed Portraits. Lake Street Dive and the title track from their album they released at the start of 2014. And I remember when I first came across it, it instantly became our album of the week here. It uh, blew me away. Now, of the first question I want to ask you, Mike, uh, who formed the band on guitar, really it's a long way from studying at Boston free jazz to performing the music that you do. Tell me about that process of finding the band members. How, what, what was it? You were there, were you feeling frustrated? You thought, I really want to make pop music. What was it? Um, the, the, the progression um, from the music we were making then to what you hear now is, was a long and arduous and, and fun. And fun. And uh, <laughs> no, just musically speaking, it was like, you know, it, we went through a lot of sort of bad permutations. And it just so happened that we you know, liked a lot of the same music and had a lot of personal chemistry and finally found a sound that we played that people actually liked to listen to. Because it took a while for your first recording to come out. It was like six years, wasn't it? Bridget won a songwriting award kind of early on and um, the funds from that award funded a record um, that we were able to record professionally probably sooner than we ought to have. (laughs) Um, And so you can find those if you do a lot of sleuthing and are willing to pay, you know, $200. (laughs) Yeah, but it's not worth it. I don't mean to sound negative here. It's just, uh, you know, 
this is the first anyone is hearing of us, perhaps, and we, we've, it's, been a, it's been a long journey. In listening to your first album, for example, and the moment I heard Rachel's voice, I wondered what you thought the first time you heard Rachel's voice, because I was just going, my goodness, this, this is a no-brainer that this band are going to do well. Right. The, the thought I had for, for in first hearing Rachel, that's the part that's not broadcastable at this time <laughs> of day. Um, it, was, um, it was pretty, you know, I mean, it still is. It's, it's astounding. Thanks, Rachel, for being in my band. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting me to be in your band. (laughs) So it seems like a pivotal point for you as a band was releasing the uh, Fun Machine EP because it, while it had an original on there, it had a lot of covers, George Michael's Faith uh, and uh, Hall & Oates, but it was the the Jackson 5 track that you then recorded as a video and put onto YouTube that suddenly things really started moving. We had been putting videos up online since we had, you know, first started hitting the road as a touring band. And we had actually recorded uh, three of the tracks from Fun Machine, including Clear Space, Rachel's original. And that was the one we intended to put up online, but it just so happened that we thought the I Want You Back version you know, that we did was just came out the best. So we were like, you know what? What the heck? Let's throw it up there and, and see what happens. And right after, you know, we, months and months went by, we went in to record Bad Self Portraits in the woods with no cell phone reception and came back out. And all of a sudden, I Want You Back had, you know, gotten hundreds of thousands of hits. And we were really surprised and blown away by that. And of course, it's over a million now, isn't it? It's a, yeah, it's, it's like 2.7 at this wow. point, I think. Yeah. Mm. The other moment that we didn't mention off the back of this wonderful viral video on YouTube was T-Bone Burnett selecting you to perform at the Inside Lewin Davis concert, which from the video performance, it, it really was a stellar moment for you because not only were you surrounded by artists that you've obviously long admired, but suddenly you were doing it there as well. It was unbelievable, maybe in like the truest sense for us. You know, we were, we actually couldn't believe that we were there, that we were invited to be a part of the concert. I know we got the call maybe a month before it was happening and we were like, yeah, cool. I'm sure that is going to actually happen. And then a month later we show up and we're watching, you know, Gillian Welch rehearse and Elvis Costello is chatting with Mike about inspiration yeah exactly (laughs) just like crazy things were happening it was like a dream and the whole thing was very very warm it was very welcoming so we left you know just like with a new zeal for you know making music and being part of you know an awesome community what we didn't realize because we were so crazed by the people that we were interacting with um that were on the show is that people like the New York Times were there and Rolling Stone was there and the person who books Letterman. And uh, it opened up a lot of doorways for us. It was great. Looking forward to seeing you playing live in concert. Welcome to Australia. Uh, You're going to play us one last track uh, before we finish the program uh, from the album. What are you going to play for us? Um, Stop Your Crying. Lake Street Dive.
is Lake Street Dive, Rachel Price on vocals, Mike McDuck Olsen on guitar, Bridget Kearney on bass, and Mike Calabresi on percussion. Yeah. 